As we all know, today marks the 53rd year of my wonderful father, Don Campbell's fatal accident here on Coniston Water. I cannot thank all the Coniston community and the local organisations that continue to keep his memory honoured in the fashion we have just witnessed. My personal special thanks always go to the K7 Club and to the Speed Record Club. And today, of course, to Sophie Daly for her beautiful rendition of that lovely, lovely fitting song. Thank you, Sophie. Today, today I should have been reading out my Neville Chamberlain's piece of paper on the happy future of my father's boat, Bluebird K7, being here in the Ruskin Museum. But sadly, it is this piece of paper I have to read out today. None of what I'm about to say can come as any shock or surprise to anybody. Everybody knows where I stand in all of this, and all I have to say has been said face to face, and may God be my witness, I have moved heaven and earth to try to avoid where we find ourselves today. This very briefly outlines where the Campbell Heritage Trust and the Ruskin Museum and the community of Coniston find themselves due to circumstances way beyond our control and our desire. Make no mistakes here, the Ruskin Museum are the legal and rightful owners of the boat. This is not open to discussion or dispute. The boat was entrusted to Bill Smith, the restoration, with the complete proviso that after her completion and proven to be in running order, as per 53 years ago, she then unconditionally be placed here in this amazing room, fit for a boat of her national importance. And I think you would agree that it's superb. Every party entered into this agreement with the entire trust and goodwill and a contractual position under the deed of gift that was drawn up by Bill Smith's solicitors. So all knew the content and the stipulations. After Bluebird's completion in 2018 by Bill Smith and his volunteer workforce, who must go on official record and recognition of the simply magnificent and beyond imagination workmanship and dedication to complete the task, and to run Bluebird so successfully in Scotland, they deserve more than a thank you can give. But since then, more than 18 months has passed, and the Ruskin Museum and the Campbell Heritage Trust, for clarity, this trust comprises Donald Wales, Peter Hume, Malcolm Hume, my three cousins, whose father was, incidentally, my father's very best friend and confidant. Oh, and there's myself, and we must not forget my father's widow, Tonya. We have asked for, we have begged for, we have even threatened for the boat to be returned to her rightful and legal owners. Sadly, as you can see, this has not happened to our utter despair. Bill Smith was offered a three-month usage of the boat per annum but has placed numerous obstacles and demands and dismissed contracts as virtual toilet paper in his own defense of not returning the boat. These demands actually do not fall into his jurisdiction anyway. And in the, pu in the process, he has publicly been very rude about the Ruskin Museum, thoroughly insulting to both the people and the environment. And at this stage, I too have to put up my hands and say, in a moment of excitement and euphoria, I've not chosen my own words particularly carefully, for which I've deeply apologised. Bill is saying that the Ruskin Museum and the community of Coniston have done nothing towards housing the boat safely and securely. Do you call the best part of £1 million pounds nothing? Look around for yourself. Take in what you see. This building was erected solely to house Bluebird. Of course, you're going to question the other side of the story, and you will be met with every single obstacle that can be erected as to why he can't and won't return the boat. Ladies and gentlemen, I've known Bill Smith for some 20 plus years now, and I know that anything he wishes and he wants to do gets done. Therefore, I have to sadly conclude that after all the pleads and the begs, 
Bill Smith just, just does not want to or intend to return Bluebird to her rightful owners. Nowhere, sadly, in every discussion or email or any reference has ever been made to my father and his achievements and what he may want, what I may want, what the family may want. In fact, sadly, one response was, well, Campbell was yesterday's man, we are today's. Sorry, I find that disingenuous at the very best, even insulting. I am very hurt and I'm happy about these co comments. My father was a man of great integrity and honour and of sense of fair play. I am bitterly disappointed and sad that my dear father's boat has been hijacked and being held to ransom and taken away from my wishes as his only child and the rest of my family, plus his adopted home and family here in Coniston. So many plans were being enacted to have Bluebird out on Coniston water, delighting the world, young and old. But as Bluebird continues to be locked away in a workspace in North Shields, None of these plans can or will happen. Bill has made sadly absolutely sure of that. And as it stands, nobody will ever get to see Bluebird again, only those favoured few that get an invite from Bill. I can't help note there's a public invite to view her, view her on Bill's Twitter, if anybody wants to go. From this point, the Ruskin Museum and the Cam Campbell Heritage Trust have to terminate our association and discussions with Bill forthwith. I am sadly publicly and formally for the very last time prior to any legal proceedings on this very special day appealing to Bill Smith to return Bluebird to her legal rightful owners, preferably in her entirety rather than in her wrecked form for which he has threatened or even to dump her back in the lake. So Bill, bring Bluebird back home, please. I further add, I'm totally gutted that all the finest things that have been achieved are ending up in this way, but when all trust and goodwill has been totally torn apart, I have been left with no further options. My father would simply hate seeing this shenanigans going on today. He was such a man of high integrity and honour, and he was a gentleman. It was done on trust, goodwill and honour, <coughs> and the shake of a hand. There are plenty of people in this room that can probably stand witness to that, that what a great man he was. And all I beg today, I want to see fair play. Thank you. My name's Jeff Carroll. I'm vice chair of the Coniston Institute and Ruskin Museum. I'd like to thank Gina for her heartfelt message with which we, the trustees of the Coniston Institute and Ruskin Museum, entirely agree. The achievements of the team of volunteers in restoring Bluebird K7 back to life are remarkable. They have now fulfilled the original aim as set out in the deed of gift when in 2006, the Campbell Family Heritage Trust gifted the boat to the Ruskin Museum for the purposes of her being restored on a voluntary basis to operable condition and put on display in the purpose-built wing of the Ruskin Museum. We've just heard from Gina regarding the cost of the Bluebird Wing and of the high regard in which she holds the museum. The building has been ready and available to house Bluebird K7 <coughs> since 2010. We think the museum has done an amazing job of telling the Campbell, family st uh, the Campbell story over the last nine years or so, indeed for many years before that. No mean feat when the main object that everyone wants to see hasn't arrived yet. In 2018, it was proved that Bluebird K7 was in operable condition. In March 2019, the Ruski Museum, as owners of the craft, requested return of Bluebird K7 to Coniston. Meetings and communications have been conducted throughout 2019 between the members of the Campbell Family Heritage Trust, the Bluebird Project Limited, and the trustees of the Coniston Institute and Ruski Museum. There has now been enough discussion, there has been enough speculation about and attempts to discredit the Ruskin Museum, its aims, its trustees and the village of Coniston as a whole. We expect, no, we demand 
that the original agreement be honoured and Bluebird K7 be returned unconditionally to Coniston, here to her purpose-built home. Therefore, we echo and support Gina Campbell's statement insofar as we also, we also call for the return of Bluebird K7 to the Ruskin Museum as soon as possible to final ful finally fulfil the original deed of gift so that the public can see her on display both in the museum and hopefully running on water and allow the village of Coniston to honour her pilot and their adopted son, Donald Campbell. Our overall message is very simple. Bring Bluebird back home. Thank you everybody for um, the kind comments uh, about my track, my song Bluebird. I was very much touched um, by uh, visiting here in May last year um, by the incredible story of Donald Campbell, as I'm sure everybody who comes up to this part can't help but be touched by the magic. Um, like a mountain has to be climbed, a song has to be written. And those were the exact words from Donald Campbell himself. And this is Bluebird, this is my song, my tribute to him. Thank you very much. through the water as she lifts herself up high no one knows the strength inside all the tears in his eyes forced to drive on with his passion and with the bluebird on his mind into the water He turns and waves his goodbyes This is for his country This green and pleasant land To preserve the world's beat records on water a man of courage deep in his heart he always knew if he ever felt discouraged he would just smile and see it through and there is so much speculation the press are always wanting more What on earth you're doing it for? This is for my country, this green and pleasant land to preserve. This was for his con.
Thank you, thank you very much. And as you can see, it's it's so emotional; it just brings it all back. And um, and there are people here who witnessed. I know Robbie here, um, and I know it's still very painful for those people. And um, we've got refreshments. We'd love you to stay and have a chat. Gina would love to say hello to people, um, and come and make yourself known and come say hi. Thank you very much.